So the, the only two existential scenarios that I believe would be because of AI, not because of humans using AI, are either what I call, uh, 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 you know, um, sort of unintentional destruction, okay? Or the other is what I call pest control, okay? So, so let me explain those two. Un, unintentional destruction is, assume the AI wakes up tomorrow and says, yeah, oxygen is rusting my circuits. It's just, you know, I, I, I would perform a lot better if I didn't have as much oxygen in the air, uh, you know, because then there wouldn't be rust. And so it would find a way to reduce oxygen. We are collateral damage in that, okay? But, you know, they're not really concerned, just like we don't really, are not really concerned with the insects that we kill when we, uh, when we spray our, uh, our fields, right? The other is pest control. Pest control is, look, this is my territory. Uh, I, I want New York City. I want to turn New York City into data centers. There are those annoying little stupid creatures, uh, you know, humanity. If they are within that parameter, just get rid of them. Okay, and 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 these are very very uh, unlikely scenarios. If you ask me, the probability of those happen happening, I would say zero percent, at least not in the next fifty, sixty, hundred years. Why? Once again, because there are other scenarios leading to that that are led by humans that are much more existential. Okay. On the other hand, let's think about positive outcomes because there could be quite a few with quite a high probability.